Well, earlier this month, New York's governor declared a state of emergency after detecting the polio virus in sewage samples. Our local Chattanooga Rotary Club is playing a hand in the continued eradication efforts of polio. News 12's Hannah Bullard shows us how. This year, the United States saw its first case of polio in nearly a decade. After an unvaccinated New Yorker got infected, the state began wastewater surveillance. New York's governor declared a state of emergency to boost the immunization rate, a mission that our local Rotary Club not just believes in, but helps finance and has for over 40 years. Chattanooga has been heavily involved in the fact that every year Chattanooga raises funds uh, by asking Rotarians to make individual contributions uh, to the eradication uh, campaign. Chattanooga uh, is giving somewhere around 20 to 20 to 30,000 on an annual basis. Internationally, club members have provided more than $2 billion, which has immunized over 3 billion children in 122 countries. Uh, Rotary approached the World Health Organization, World Health Assembly, and asked them about making this a universal project around the world. And uh, they turned Rotary down. And so Rotary decided to just take this project on by themselves. It costs us right now between $900 million and $1 billion per year. Even though the state of Tennessee notes that over 85% of children have been vaccinated, there has been an approximate drop of nearly 3% in immunizations against the disease since last year. Theory about vaccinations and where the vaccinations work is, is becoming a, a critical issue uh, with us. In the last five years alone, the Chattanooga Rotary Club provided nearly $133,000 to support the effort. In Chattanooga, Hannah Bullard, News 12 Now.